This is Michael from Digital Sputnik, and today I'm going to go over the buttons of the Voyager tube, what are the status lights, how to read them, and what is shelf mode. Let's get into it. The Voyager has two buttons. The power button is located here, top of the Voyager with the iconic power icon printed on top. From the factory, the Voyager will be in shelf mode. To activate a fresh from factory Voyager, you must use the AC adapter to wake on power your V2. Once plugged in, you are able to hold down the power button for 3 seconds to cycle your V2 on or off. To know that your VTube is either turned on or off, when you hold the power button for less than 2 seconds you are able to see the power mode which is located by the power arrow or first LED closest to the power button. If the power status LED is red, your VTube is off. If your power status LED is blue, your VTube is still booting and not yet ready to use. If your power status is green, then you are good to go. Checking your power status also displays your battery level, which is shown by how far the light reaches and color of the whole VTube to determine the remaining battery. And displays the Wi-Fi mode, which is located on the third LED. The Voyager has three Wi-Fi modes that can be cycled by holding the side Wi-Fi program button for around 4 seconds, or until you see the third LED turn magenta which indicates the cycle. The three Wi-Fi modes are associated with the status color for the Wi-Fi status LED. By default, the VTube will be in access point mode, which is represented by the color yellow. Next will be client mode, which has two colors. First is red for still connecting or not connected, and green for connected to a network. Third and last is router mode, represented with the color blue. When you want to store your VTube for a long period of time, put them in shelf mode by holding both the power button and Wi-Fi button when the tube is set to on for 10 seconds. This will completely shut down your VTube, saving its battery for long storage. Bring them back with the AC adapter, and you are ready to use your Voyager tube once more. It is advised for your Voyager to have a full battery before putting it into shelf mode for storage. Thanks for tuning in. In the next video, I will be going over the Wi-Fi modes and a few different ways to set up your Voyager network.